Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to continue working on part 2 of this coffee shop. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to start adding the uh, grid line. We added interior exterior walls and um, the vanity sink and the toilet. Um, we created a, a storage for the coffee shop and then we're going to continue working on this. Um, we're going to create the kitchen now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a section right about here. And then here you can just double click it and it will go straight to section. And as you can see, we're facing from the wall. And then through here, we could edit um, all of the stuff that are needed to be able to create the extrusion part. So let's go to level one again. And then here, we're going to click on the component under architecture and then click model in place. Let's go to generic models and then press OK and then OK. Here, we're going to create an extrusion. So I'm going to create an extrusion by using a, a rectangle. And then it will be set on the level face. So it will be on the level. So right now, what I'm going to do is click rectangle and then create the rectangle part of here. I'm going to keep it up to around 3700 by 600 or let's make this one 650 will be good enough so 650 by 3700 and then we could add in some here later on after that click finish um, we could change the extrusion up to 900 apply and then here for the material we could change this to a wood so go to wood and then let's use birch gloss so glossy and then press apply and then okay now what we don't click finish yet and we could look at it at 3d so once you're here, you can see that we have this. And let me set the transparency so that we could view it from this side. So here, at least, you can still see and manipulate whatever you have. So that's the power of having a um, transparency. And then here, now go back and click on create and then we're going to click on void form and then void extrusion. We're going to set this one. So pick a plane and then let's click, pick on this plane. So it's the side of it. And then once you click on that plane, you'll be able to create the form of the void. So similar to that, let's set this one around 100 and then this will be around 80. So this will be the kick plate. Click finish, extend it all the way. So we could just extend this one by grabbing on the arrow. And then we could just go all the way right here. And as you can see, once you do that, then click on cut geometry. And then it will be exposed now. You can then afterwards, let's do another extrusion for the top. So now what we could do is click on level. 
So level one, click on create and then extrusion. Let's set this one and we want it, we want to pick the top of this. And then for the extrusion end, we need to put it at 25 millimeters. So that's the thickness of the top. And then here, another. So we could put this one with a stone. Click on the stone and then let's do granite. Apply and then OK. Click finish on this. So sketch, so we forgot to put the sketch, obviously. So that's why we need just under rectangle. After that, click finish and let's look at it. There we go. And then now we're ready to just click on finish. So my plan here is to have all the background right here to have a the, the chalkboard so black board here and then we could have um, bricks on this side it's either brick or wood on this side so that's what we're gonna do and then we're actually going to have this one over like this and the opening will be on this side. And then we will have a bar stool here facing a window. So that's the plan that we're, um, we're doing. And then here it, it could be brick or wood as well. And around the, around here as well. So that's the plan that we're planning to do here. Um, we'll probably have an exposed um, ceiling. So we're planning to do that. So let's go back level one or let's go back to section and then let's do a split face. So here I'm clicking on the split face. So basically, once you click the split face, you will need to click on the face that you want to split. So which is this wall. So my plan is a, a blackboard. And then here on this side will be uh, something different, which is like a, a wood or a brick. So now I'm just going to click on that. So once you click, you will have this modified split face create boundary. Now we need to bound, put a boundary here. So it will start with a line. So we could just click on this line to this line. It's on the edge, so we don't need to create um, a square. Now on this one, click that and click this. Now this is split and now we this is split. So once you do this, click finish. And then here, we just need to double check that this one is just over. So we just need to click it back and then just put it in place. And then we're golden. So now, as you can see, we'll be able to select this part and this part as well. Um, let's go to 3D so that we I'll be able to show you what it looks like now. So here, um, let's go to paint and let's set this to a uh, black. So something black.
So I'm thinking I'll just set this one just iron duct type. So I'm just going to click it there. And if you want to see the consistent color right there. Now, let's see if we could change this material as well. So like I said, I want this to be either wood or brick. So by doing this, let's see if I could change this as well. So I'm going to click paint and then let's do soft wood on this. So now I have a different finish for this and this one. And if you notice, this is a whole um, um, wall. So this is another materials as well. So this is a power of having to set paint and split face. So I could have this as brick or wood. So I'll set it up later on. What I can do is set up the windows. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to architecture, click, click wall instead, and then go to drop down and then add in curtain wall. Here, I'm going to add curtain wall inside of this. So I'm just going to add the curtain one like this. And then you know what? We're going to flip it from the inside. Again, I'm going to click it here. And then I'm going to type in CS. It's already here. Um, it's basically CS is create similar. So whatever you have inside already, you'll be able to just type in CS and um, you'll be able to add it instantly. So I'm just pulling this backward like that and then it's are still selected i'm going to type in cs and then i'll be able to add more windows like that so i'm just leaving in some gap here for the corner and then here we could just have it up to this point and then let's have everything to be um, with walls only. Now it's this is not yet done. You need to click on modify and then click on cut geometry. Once you click on cut geometry, you will need to select the windows first and then the curtain wall. And that, then it will be cut. So wall first and then curtain wall. Once you do, you can press escape multiple times and go to your 3D. You'll be able to see, and then here you can pull it down like so. So if you, if you click that, you can pull it down with the arrow. And if you notice, um, if you click here, the arrow is not appearing here. Um, the technique is you just need to go to the elevation and then you'll be able to see and you can able to edit the left and the right so that's just the technique on that or a quick um, note in order to do that I'm gonna set this because I will have an exposed ceiling here um, I'm gonna set it set it something like this height and then I'm going to align it. So it's type in AL, which is align, and this icon under modify. This is as uh, simplest way of aligning everything. So as you can see, I align everything so that I don't need to think about it later on. And I'm just checking on the gaps on the corner. And that looks fine to me. And then here, what we'll have is um, we could set the curtain grid 
and what we'll have is a segment on the top so for the top I want it to be I'm gonna set a height of around I think 700 will be fine and then click on curtain grid again and set it to 700 if you don't um, able to set it at 700 you could just use align again and then click on that and it will align it together so align is a very powerful command here and you must use the license so that you can cut some um, some time off and then here what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to equal the distance like so. And as you can see, um, Revit will calculate it for me. Here as well, as you can see, um, I'm just looking for the midpoint, which Revit will give it to me. So just assume the distance of the midpoint and Revit will do it for you. Here you can also look at the distance for a uh, uh, if you want three um, cuts. So as you can see 863.3 is the the midpoints of this so I was able to add in three um, curtain grids for this window and I'll just leave it like that maybe if we delete this and let's see if we could add in the three so for here 766 is the the third line or the one third of this. So I'm just gonna do that. And just a hundred millimeters is not noticeable. So I would leave it like that. And then here I'm gonna add in mullion and then all grid. I'm gonna change this to a 30 square and then all grid and then once you click that as you can see it's intact like that I'm just double checking everything and it looks good so we have our restaurant like that so let's stop here for now and continue in the next video Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.